It's something that brings joy. It brings a family together. Chocolate is important to society because it's an indulgence that people can enjoy of any socioeconomic level. Like, that was a very good answer. Thank you. I just yeah, came up right? with that. I like, know you weren't expecting about. him to give such a good answer. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to give such a good answer. You guys in love or something? No. Like, oh, no. No. no, we just yeah. own a business. Yeah, the love love left a long time ago. My name is Mark Libertini. And I'm Rachel Kellner, and we're here at Eigner Chocolates in Forest Hills, Queens. When we met 12 years ago, I was the assistant clinical director of an outpatient drug program. Mark owned a restaurant in Bay Ridge. Rachel was a regular at the restaurant, and she had actually brought a date to the restaurant once. She came in by herself once, and we were just talking, and she had this idea of food as therapy. And I texted her the next day, and I said, I really like your idea of food as therapy. We should get together and discuss, you know, I really want to hear, like, the inner, you know, ideas of Rachel Kellner. That's a good line, right? <laughs> I'll never forget that text message coming through. It was this big, crazy idea, and here's this person I just met, and he believed in me. That was the moment I fell in love with him, even though I had just met him. The food is therapy idea, we kind of talked about it, and then we tabled it, and then we bonded over other things. It was always his dream to open a chocolate shop. He happened to be driving past this chocolate shop in Queens one day, went in to try and buy me chocolate, and it was closed. The business had closed down months before, but there was a phone number on the door. He called them that moment, and not only did he call them, he met them that day. We signed a contract, and four weeks later, we opened up 10 days before Halloween of 2015. Boom! And the rest is history. That's almost accurate. She did, <laughs> she, did, she did a pretty good job. All right, follow me. We'll take it out of the chocolate kitchen. We are an Austrian-style chocolate shop. We do very traditional creams. We make all of our own marzipans. A lot of chocolate with nuts, chocolate with fruit. I would say if we have one specialty, it would probably be our... Caramel. Our... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Our caramel. Our caramel? Where have you been? Because I was thinking marzipan. We... Were you not going to mention caramels the whole time? I wasn't going to mention caramels. I'm shocked. I... You always tell our staff I'm to shocked. mention caramels. I can't believe it. Okay. It's, you know... We make great caramels. <laughs> we like to be whimsical. We do a lot of fun pieces that bring joy to children, and adults can enjoy them also. Chocolate poop emojis. It's one of those cultural things that people really enjoy, and that's what we're all about here. You know that phrase, like a kid in a candy shop? We're doing these breakable bottles. You break it open, and there's a surprise inside. My husband never grew up. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a 12-year-old in a 50-year-old's body. Yeah. <laughs> These little guys here are a lot of fun. The inner child in, in both my husband and I came out when we decided to buy this business. Our vision is to share our passion for the art of making chocolate to make the world a better place. During the pandemic, we were looking around the shop and we were thinking, how can we contribute and make a difference? Our proudest moment was this idea we had called the Rainbow Bunny Exchange. We had kids draw pictures of rainbows with messages of hope to frontline workers, and in exchange, we would give them a bunny pop. We had an initial goal of collecting 100 rainbows, and we ended up collecting 315. And a few months after we delivered them, they made a collage. There is a rainbow of rainbows in the lobby of Elmhurst Hospital still. And it really was our, our proudest moment. And it's on permanent display. We've donated probably almost $20,000 worth of chocolate. That food is therapy idea that we talked about so many years ago, this business is food is therapy. And we didn't even know that we were executing that concept. We were able to spread joy, especially in Queens, which was the epicenter of the pandemic here in the United States. I think we've fallen in love with this business all over again as a yeah. result of the pandemic. Yeah, and absolutely. maybe with each other, I don't know. <laughs> After we bought the business, we saw this beautiful piece of artwork and it said it was all a dream. This was my husband's dream. I said, what if we put, or was it? Because this is no longer a dream, it's a reality. You know, it's mind blowing when you think of it, you know, all the things that had to happen to get to this place, but it went the way it went and we're here and we love what we do. And there are not a lot of people in this world that are able to say that. We need to kind of stop and remind ourselves that this chocolate shop is a love story and our dreams have come true. And we're still in love. And we're still in love, <laughs> which is a miracle at this point. Yeah, I know, I know. Living the dream.